applying force and torque loads. In this first task, we're going to apply a force to a point on the model and run an analysis. We're going to start off by enabling only the following data display types, points. In the ribbon, select the Applications tab. Click Mechanism from the Motion group. The orange icon in the middle of the model indicates that this component was assembled using the planar connection set. Click Force Torque from the Insert group. In the Graphics area, select the Datum Point, Load Point. In the Force Torque Definition dialog box, perform the following steps. Edit the constant load value to point zero zero five and press enter. Select the direction tab, edit the X vector to minus point five and press enter. Edit the Z vector to minus point two five and press enter. Click OK. In the Mechanism tree, right-click Analysis and select New. Select Dynamic from the Type drop-down list. Edit the value for Duration to 17 and press Enter. Select the IC State radio button. Select the EXT Loads tab and select the Enable Gravity and Enable All Friction checkboxes. Click Run. Click OK. The translation axis of the planar connection limit the movement of force 2.prt, ensuring that it does not move off of force 1.prt. That explains why force 2.prt changed directions after reaching the edge of force 1.prt. In this next task, we're going to apply a torque force to the model and run an analysis. Click Force Torque from the Insert group. In the Force Torque Definition dialog box, perform the following steps. Select Body Torque from the Type drop-down list. In the Graphics area, select Force2.prt. Edit the constant magnitude value to 0.8 and press Enter. Select the Direction tab. Edit the Y vector to 1 and press Enter. Edit the Z vector to 0 and press Enter. Click OK. In the Mechanism tree, expand Analysis. Right click Analysis Definition 1 and select Edit Definition. Select the EXT Loads tab. Click Force Torque 1 and select Force Torque 2 from the drop-down list. Click Run and then Yes to confirm. Click the Start cell, type 7 in the cell, and press Enter.
click add new row click run and then click yes to confirm running the analysis using both forces click OK this completes this demonstration